and I live in the southeast coast of the UK. Today is Monday the 8th of November 2021, <laughs> I think then, and this is episode number, I have written it down, 87. And I'd like to say a big, big welcome to everybody. And uh, wow, <laughs> another quick week, isn't it? <laughs> it's just flown by. Right then, so Glenn's on late, so he hasn't long left to go to work, so I'm going to record this and then I'm going to get in the shower, get in some comfies and then get on to the you know what, which I will talk about in a bit. <laughs> anyway, whew, gone all red, I'm having a flush. <laughs> right then, it's been a lovely day today, it's cool, gosh, when I got up this morning it was really cold and uh, I said to Glenn, I said, oh, I said, I think I might, because I'm an early bird, I'm always up early, I said, oh, I, said, I think I'm going to have to put the fire on and that's the first time we've had any heating on at all, but I had to put the fire on for about half an hour this morning, so not bad for November, I will say, not bad. <laughs> anyway, right. Let's just hop right in because I have got so much to show you this week. So much. Okay then, right. Oh, anywhere you... <laughs> I'm, do you know what? It's been like over two years I've been doing this and I always forget something, don't I? So I am getting there. I am getting there. Anywhere you can find me is down in the description box, like, you know, Instagram, Facebook, uh, email, uh, Etsy shop, anywhere. It's all down in the description box. <laughs> Okay then, right there, let's hop in. So today we have knitting. I have a finished um, object and I'm going to talk to you about this here. Okay, um, and then um, I'm going to be starting a new crochet. So I've got everything together. I haven't started it yet, but I've got everything together so I can actually show you what I'm going to be starting. The cross stitch is obviously, um, there's the progress on my dobby and yeah we will get to that in a bit and then it's what have you been up to i have got two lovely lovely ladies that have got in contact with me and some beautiful beautiful photographs and uh, loads of information which is absolutely brilliant i do have a naughty i have one naughty and it is my friend's fault i will say if she hadn't messaged me and said look at this i wouldn't have done it but i did and you know who you are and all <laughs> And then I have got just a couple of items to show you. I had an update on Friday in um, my Etsy shop and um, there's some little bits left over. So I thought, well, I know not everybody has Facebook and Instagram, so I will show them right at the end for ones who want to stay on and have a look. OK, then. Right. So let's hop right in, shall we? Now, my first object that I want to show you, I haven't actually got off the hook. It's there. So hold on. I don't know why I do this on Mondays, because Mondays are always, you know, one of them days, isn't it? Oh, let's get up. <laughs> right, okay. Right then. So, I have finished my Oreo socks. No, they're not Oreos. <laughs> Aurora socks. The ones that I was knitting, this is Mr and Mrs Rabbit Yarns, which is called the Colourway Aurora. <laughs> absolutely beautiful these are um, going to be um, my Rebecca's um, socks for her Christmas present because she always likes a pair of socks they have absolutely knitted up the colours in this yarn is amazing um, I did them on 2.5 because I love 2.5 uh, DPNs and this is just the basic um, vanilla that I use which is uh, 15 two by two <clears throat> excuse me for the rib i do 60 for the leg because she wears hers with boots she likes hers quite long obviously heel flap and the gusset then you've got your foot and just a wedge toe i do like the wedge toe you know i know some people don't like the kitchen stitch but i don't mind sitting doing it so um you know it doesn't bother me i did do them you know like two at a time so two cuffs two legs two heels and so on and I'm just so happy that I got these off the needles as quickly as I did. And um, I know she, that she's going to love them as well for Christmas. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? <laughs> Another little Christmas present done off the list. So, yes, I am really, really pleased with these. The actual vanilla, um, how do I go? No, the actual basic um, pattern, but obviously, you know, we all adapt our own patterns. But the one I originally went started with is Christine Perry. You cannot beat her 
at all. Um, Christine Perry and her uh, Vanilla Socks. She she's got um, two books now, but her first book is like, you know, a little Bible. It's brilliant. But she also does tutorials. But if you don't want to buy the book, you can also go on to her blog, I think it is, and down and de um, free download the, the written instructions. But in the book, obviously, you have pictures. So, and also... I will give a quick mention to the crazy sock lady. If it weren't through her tutorial on working with DPNs um, video, I, I wouldn't be working with DPNs. She just shows it so well. But she has got a tutorial for um, the mini circulars, um, magic loop and the DPNs. And I will say I do because I've knitted for years with mini circulars and I think they were just so small, it was hurting my hands eventually so much that I couldn't knit socks. <laughs> I know, you know, I haven't got a pair of socks on the needles at the moment and I'm itching already. I think, oh, I've got to get some socks on the needles. But um, yeah, and her tutorial was amazing. And I do, like her, have four needles in use and one to work with. So I do use all five. I know there is some because my lovely friend Teresa, she has three in working and and then one to use to knit and then one spare. But um, And I find with the four, it's more space. So I, it doesn't hurt my hands. It doesn't hurt them at all. So if anybody actually would like anything like that, with, with go to those two, you know, Christine Perry, and the Crazy Sock Lady, they are absolutely amazing. And the Crazy Sock Lady also does have her own uh, YouTube channel, if you don't know. But yes, I am so, so chuffed with these. Okay, then right, I'll get, start getting them wrapped up. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I've just got to get one more present, and that's for her. And then I'm done. Literally, I have finished, so I can start wrapping up all my prezzies. <laughs> I've even got my turkey in the freezer. <laughs> All my sweeties are underneath the rocker chair downstairs. Yeah, all done, all done. I love it, because then I can enjoy December. I ain't running around like headless chicken, <laughs> basically. <laughs> you know, I'm just laid back and just like, watching everybody else do that bit. <laughs> right then, okay. So now on to the cardigan. I can't put this down. I will say I can't put this down. I was so disappointed this morning because... <laughs> Oh dear me, let me get the picture. This book here I got from um, Yarndale and it's uh, Gem Weston. Yeah, Gem Weston. And I did see, it's Cozy Alpaca Knits is, is the, um, uh, the book and the cardigan I'm knitting is the Cozy Cardigan, which is that. And it's knitted across, which I have never ever done before. As you know, um, it is that I, when I see it this at Yarndale, the lady did say that it is an equivalent of a, a double knit. Um, so, and that is done on four mil needles. And so I did get gauge and everything. There's two sizes and there is an oversized. So it is a big, you know, um, like a jacket cardigan kind of thing. And because the sleeves finish, I reckon will finish about here. Actually, there is a picture of... Um, how can I show you without giving away information? <laughs> um, right, see, the sleeves are quite high up, and I thought, well, with a long sleeve t shirt, that is just going to look so smart. Okay, then, right, so as you all know, I love my wool from um, Home Bargain 99p a ball. So I actually went and bought um, enough to do the whole thing for less than £10. Because the yardage on this yarn is just so good. Does it actually say, say yeah, it's 330 metres for a double knit in here. Do you know what I mean? That is really, really good for a 100 gram ball. And they're 99 p a ball. They're soft as anything. I know that that is an acrylic, but do you know what I mean? I don't mind. I really, really don't mind. So I, um, and because I've knitted before in it, I know it, it washes well, so I'm happy. So I, I, this is my main colour, and then I've got the uh, the burgundy, and then the beige, which is for the colour work. Now I have just been knitting away on this <laughs> so much, I've pinned it onto flow to try and explain to you how it, it's supposed to go together. I think. No, so I've picked up, <laughs> so you can see. So this is the sleeve, and this is going to be folded up and 
sewn so that's a cuff um i have done all my here they all are my wraps and turns all along here to give the shaping around the bust area then i've had to because you've got a um a hem at the bottom and i've i've cast off what they've said to cast off for this next part and then that's all folded up and then sewn along there now the next bit for me to do is because i've had to put on hold these back so now that was going to go across the back and then i'm assuming i'll come across the back here and then uh cast on again see i don't know for the sleeve oh well, anyway obviously the pattern explained it to me i've only got a page and a bit left to go so <laughs> it shouldn't be too much work well it's gonna be a lot of work but it shouldn't be too much explaining but the next bit for me to do is this here yeah which the needles are on so let's get this so it's from this here to here i've got to do my color work band which is one of the fronts here right so i've got to do that now i have got because i couldn't get a hundred centimeter needle uh, length cable uh, because the two places that i get them from were both sold out so um i got 110 and for me with color work because as i've said before i am not the best color work person around i'm still debating whether to actually do the diamonds i might just do the stretch because all that is is every other stitch you just twist it round isn't it really so that's easy um i don't know yet but um i was going through my needles because i wanted to go down to a 60 centimeter cable so it's not like all cabley on me and i couldn't find one 60 centimeters the basic isn't it really in four especially in four mil anyway and glenn turned around to me this morning went all them needles and you haven't got the one you want. I went, no. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll order them. So I went to a warehouse, as we always do first. They were out of 60 centimeter Addies, because I do love my Addies. Um, uh, they were out of them in a, a 60 centimetre. So then what? Oh, then I went to Woolstack. I love Woolstack. I have got loads of stuff from them, uh, which is another online shop. <laughs> and yes, they had them. I thought, yay! So I popped them in my basket. And then I thought, well, while I'm here and I'm putting in an order, I might as well. I've got, so I ordered in the four mil, I ordered the 60 centimetre, the 40 centimetre, because I do like doing hats in a 40 centimetre. And also, I did not know this, they do 50 centimetre. So I thought, well, I'll get the 50 centimetre as well, because you never know. That would have been ideal for this part, to be honest with you. Anyway, so, and I'll end up using them on something. And um, so, um, I ordered those three this morning and because I got them all ordered before 12 o'clock, they've already been dispatched. So fingers crossed they'll be here tomorrow so I can actually carry on with my cardigan and start the colour work. So this is how I'm thinking it's supposed to work, you see. It's obviously going across like that. The shaping here was absolutely lovely to do. It really, really was. And um, yeah, and it's, it does say that this is the back so it's going to have go across there, isn't it? I'm thinking. So it's going to go across and then you increase. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so it's going to... So <laughs> I'm trying to work this out myself. So it's going to go across there, isn't it? And then you increase again for both the side, the, 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 uh, the, the, the bit of here and the bit there. No, because this bit here is there. So you'll increase at the front, that's it. And then you'll knit your bit, I'm assuming. Do your front shaping and then increase. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, it will all come together, I'm hoping anyway. <laughs> but I'm loving every minute of this. This is my second ball, that's all. And I started it um, last night. I started my second ball. And I can't remember if I bought the five or the six. I think I bought six because uh, for the bigger size because I couldn't remember... Um, I didn't have the pattern with me when they had the navy in, you see. So I just bought six. And I think, yeah, and the one I'm doing actually only needs five. So what I'm thinking of doing is, um, you know, Stephen, my lovely, lovely honey, Stephen West, um, he's done the honeycomb hat. Well, as you know, I've done the honeycomb shawl, which I love every minute of doing that. And um, I got the pattern for the honeycomb hat. And it is... 
and I thought what I could do is with what's left over is knit the hat and then put the three um you know because I've got the pale blue under there um left over from the Whitmore and I've also got a grey left over from the Whitmore cardigan so I could you know do them as the honeycombs and navy as the main colour so I thought I might I, I'm gonna do that you know I, yeah I'm gonna do that which then I will use my 40 centimetre needles, won't I? <laughs> so, yeah, it'll all work out in the end. It will work out in the end. So, yeah, I'm itching to, to literally itching to get onto this. I really am so badly. And I just haven't got the size needles. And I know I am just going to get all fingers and thumbs with this um, with these ones. So, um, yeah, I will wait patiently. As I say, they've been dispatched. So, fingers crossed they'll come tomorrow. So, I can just... <laughs> get them on this and then I can start knitting away. It's, it's so frustrating, isn't it? It really is frustrating. And then, would you believe it? Um, when was it? Um, over the weekend or was it the end of last week? Uh, the Knit Vent 2021, the first pattern was released. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And I said to Glenn, oh, I said, look, I said the new Knit Vent. Oh, I'll have to get done. Come up here. Let me print this out of ink. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously because we all love Helen Stewart's patterns don't we uh you know because they're so well um you know every row at a time you need a lot of paper uh, and a lot of ink and I ain't got none so I quickly got on and ordered that so they've been dispatched so fingers crossed they'll be <laughs> oh my gosh so that'll be here either tomorrow or the next day so I can print that off and I can start my new event I know it's one of them isn't it I want to get me my fingers working with the knitting and there's always something stopping me so i think i might just have to cast on a pair of socks that's what i'm thinking anyway <laughs> just to keep me going until my ink come and my needles so i can carry on with my cardigan but um yeah i am loving this i really am i'm gonna see how what it's like when it finishes because it is supposed to be one that sits yeah, you know, quite high up and i think well with a skirt i've got me, me denim skirt and some navy um woolly tights in my boots and i just think that is going to look so smart i really do so yeah so <laughs> and then i'm thinking with the yarn i've got left over with the ones that i've got left over i remember seeing a jumper now i can't remember i know i've seen it on one of the other podcasts where it's striped to blocks of stripes and i'm thinking well i might as well do something like that and use up the yarn um that i've got to and just make another garment so that's what i probably will do and then i'll be able to use my new new needles as well <laughs> okay then right so that's enough of the knitting so let's go into the we're going to the crochet next. I want to make sure I go well into the podcast before I show Operation Bitford. <laughs> okay. So, right then, let's go into the cross stitch. Now, you know, crochet even. So, in my lovely Dobby bag that my daughter brought me ages ago, and I thought this is just so appropriate, <laughs> I have got, as you know, the Harry Potter crochet book, which I love to bit absolutely love this book to bits and i said to glenn he is definitely going to be done next year definitely that is going to be my next year's project i've just got to make him he is just well anyway right so as i've mentioned i would like to make this bag but not put the strap on it and i'm going to line it and then make it into a project bag because i thought that is just ideal i can either use it then for my cross stitch because it's a flat bag or for well for anything can't you so <laughs> anyway so for christmas last year glenn brought me some cross uh, some fat quarters harry potter ones so when it's made i'm going to line it in that which i thought was ideal because it's got the envelope and the and that on it with Heg hegwig hegwig i think it is yeah and i've got a plain which is what's called for us it's done in a four ply and it is done in a 75 25 and it's called bear well i've got some what i call blanks up there which i haven't dyed yet so um, i've used one of those so i've um caked it all up ready and this is in one of my oh, 
where it's a, a two in one. So it's for a hundred gram ball or for a hundred gram cake. <laughs> so it's folded over and I have a red and I have a black in my um, sock yarn box um, there. So I'm going to be casting this on and we'll see how we go. Just so I've got something, you know, to go to do it while I'm, um, you know, just sitting there because it's just an easy, easy one to do. Because you actually start at the top and then you do all your plain bits and then the flap, the colour work is on at the end. And then I'm assuming you, well, I'll line it and fold it up and do it. I'll work out a way of doing it. But this is an amazing book, I will say. Okay, so I will be getting this all started for something that I can just pick up uh, and not have to think about. Okay then, right, so let's move that over there a minute. That's my knitting um, bag where I'll keep all my things in with my cardigan. Right, next. As I'm going to talk to now, you can actually see there's going to be a photograph that's going to go right over flow at the moment. And that is my progress of my cross stitch of Dobby. As you can see, this wig, he has eyes. I have left him downstairs <laughs> because I thought, well, if I take him off and bring him back, I bring him up, I've got to take him back down again and so on. So I've got a couple of photographs and he's looking so cute. So I've got to do the top of his head and this side of his ear. And then I've got to do him holding his, um, well, his name and, he, and the sock here is the B the other B for the Dobby, do a little bit at the bottom and then I can put him all up. I am just so enjoying this. I really, really am enjoying him. Um, he is just a fun stitch. He really is. And I would like to say, because I have done a little extra, I uploaded that Friday. Did I upload on Friday or Saturday? Sometime over the weekend, anyway. I um, did a, a little separate video on how I actually... Um, cross stitch on a dark ada a dark cloth and um, I will say there's a couple of you that mentioned about putting a light underneath what a great idea I, you know I, I personally hadn't thought of that and I do have a an LED light with a clip so I, I could clip that underneath but uh, what a great idea so um, yeah it really really does work so yeah so if anybody is interested hop right over to that that's only going to be the video next the one above this and um, yeah it's literally just how I um, cross stitch on a dark cloth basically okay then right let's go into <laughs> operation bigfoot okay then right so in my lovely bag from my lovely friend car carlene because i've got a carlene from texas and i've got a carlene who i'll be mentioning soon so from carlene from texas and I, as you know it's going to be a wish wish like you know or a flick flick as I say so that's the pattern okay and as you will see he has feet he has hands he has a face he is complete I'm on the leaves now so there we go okay on Saturday night oh my gosh I live on a really really busy main road <clears throat> there's cars constantly glenn had to go into work for half past seven at night and um he <laughs> he said i should only be a couple of three hours if that he said i shouldn't be too bad i said all right then mate okay so i thought right i, I want to see if i can get his hands and feet and his face done so i was there stitching away watching a film and stitching away like this I was and every time I could hear a door slam outside or a car pull up and then a door go and I was freeze I think it's the key gonna go in the door <laughs> so I thought right it's quarter nine I'll put a couple of stitches in till nine o'clock and then I was gonna have to pack this away so I was stitching away and I thought well one more row on this leaf one more row on this leaf I've got it myself it's not gonna take too long now oh dear me so I, I must have been about 10 past nine when I thought no I've got to get this packed away I really really have so I quickly packed everything away and put it in the bag and tucked down caught the tenny walked in the door <laughs> so that was very close and then like, he's gone in this afternoon <clears throat> started at half past two and he um and he had a phone call this morning saying because he's normally in, in one position but he's actually got um the um 
qualifications and certificates to go over to do another position where some of them haven't. So what they do is they put him, oh, move him over up a seven and then move someone in the position that he actually is there for who, who can do that part. Well, anyway, he... Um, <laughs> So he said, yeah, 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 I'll do it. So I thought, yes, I'm going to have a whole evening, a whole evening of stitching on a Bigfoot. I just can't wait. Then would you believe it? His phone went and went, oh, is it all right if we, up a seven, if we move you over and then move Abby in? And then and I went, oh, no. I said, so you're going to be home early. He said, yeah, well, if everything go all right, mate, he said, as you know. And I went, oh, no. So I'm going to be sitting there on edge again stitching all day. This is so stressful. <laughs> I honestly thought this was going to be an easy thing to try and hide, but gosh, God do Bennett, this is a stressful cross stitch. But I've got to get it done. I have got to get it done. So it's he said to me, he said, oh, he said, what are you going to do this evening? And then he goes, now you haven't got your needles. He said, you've got no socks on the needles. I went, no. I said, I don't know. And then I just thought, actually, while I was saying this to you, I should have said I can put a couple of squares on my mitre blanket. Why didn't I say that? Because he wouldn't have known no different with that, would he? I said, it's probably going to be a bit too dark to do Dobby. Oh, oh why didn't I think of that? <laughs> anyway, so he is really coming along. So it's basically the greenery now. And my gosh, uh, it is, this, this cross stitch is going to tell a story. It really has got a story behind it. And um, I will put a little date on the bottom for him. Um, I did pop down the charity shop this morning because I had to go up to the post office. And I thought, well, well, you know, I'm a bit early because I'd got up, uh, I say, early. And, um, and I thought, oh, I'll, I haven't been to the charity shop in town for a while. So I thought, oh, well, I'll go down there and, um, <laughs> and see what's happening. Down there. And now I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> um, what was I saying? I went to the charity shop this morning. <laughs> Why was that connected to the Bigfoot? I ain't got a blooming clue. I had to go to the post office. <laughs> I don't know. What made me think of that then? I don't know. You watch, when I play this back, it's going to go, oh yeah, you should have said that. I don't know now. My train of thought has gone completely. Oh well, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear me, I'm hard working on. Oh well, we'll go on to what have you been up to, shall we? <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. That's really going to annoy me now. And I know as soon as I read, I'm gonna, I listen to this back to edit it, I'm going to know exactly what I was going to say. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, so what have you been up to? Let's go into that bit. I might leave that bit out. We'll see how it goes. Wow. Now, as you know, last week I did ask for Linda Harrison to uh, get back in contact with me to give me some information on her stunning, and I mean my word, her piece of cross stitch. Because I had the picture and it would have been nice to be able to give you some information. And oh my gosh, thank you, Linda, so much for emailing me, I will say. And I can't believe how quickly you have actually, you, you stitched this. And you'll understand in a moment. Right, so this is the Cross Stitch Santa. And it's the Secret Santa by Lavender and Lace. Now anybody, oh, Lavender and Lace of the USA. Now, anybody that know any lavender and lace, that's not just a basic, you know, cross stitch, is it? You know, you've got your fraction stitches, you've got a lot of different threads in it. Now, to name some, because the amount of threads in this piece is, um, I have written some of them down. Obviously, there's DMC, there's Krynic cry, cry, braids. Oh, there was loads of them absolutely loads of them and listen to this it took her only two months of stitching in the afternoons that's unbelievable isn't it what an amazing piece of work my gosh linda oh i'll just quickly say because she did say the actual stitch count for him is 777 stitches wide 
by 225 stitches high. The finished stitch is 12 and a half inches by 16 inches. Now, two months. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Wow, what work. You are absolutely amazing. I will say what a beautiful piece of well, it's just a treasure, isn't it? You know what I mean? That's something that you, you're going to keep, you know, and pass on and hopefully get passed on because it is absolutely stunning. Well done, Linda. And thank you for getting back in contact because I think everybody is just going to be amazed with that. Absolutely amazed. Now, we have one more What Have You Been Up To? And this is Colleen. And she has a podcast, she's a lovely friend, um, of all the stitches. Hop over and give her um, a look. She's got a lovely new puppy called Pete and he's a black Labrador. Oh my gosh, he's so cute, he really is. He's growing quick. I love black Labrador puppies because they always see their paws seem to be a lot bigger than everywhere else. <laughs> Oh, their body, but oh, Pete, he's so cute, he really is. Now, she sent us um, a couple of photographs. Now, one of them is the vanilla sweater by Corrine Tomlinson. And now, I know I'm going to get this wrong, but at least ain't the one that I can't say, and I ain't going to say it because everyone laugh, because I know you all laugh. <laughs> it was knitted in the yarn Rauma, R-A-U-M-A, Vinyl, vinyl, <coughs> excuse me, v uh, <coughs> F I N U L L, I think it was. Uh, beautiful sweater, absolutely lovely. She did say that she ain't been able to get on her sewing machine recently, obviously because of Little Pete, but she is doing a lot of handwork. Also, the cross stitches, because there is two, is uh, one of them's called Sweater A Weather, and that's the Plum Street Samplers. I well, as you know, the Operation Watson is a Plum Street Samplers. I do love theirs, their charts. And then Welcome Autumn is a Primrose Cottage Stitches. Yet again, a beautiful, um, you know, a lovely chart. Well done, Colleen. Love your work as always, and I do love the quilt that they're sitting on. <laughs> I will say, you know, being a quilter, at that quilt just went, whoa, I do love that quilt. So, um, yeah. Well done, Colleen. Beautiful work. So, excellent. Thank you ever so much to the pair of you for getting in contact so everybody can see what you've been up to. So, just remember, all you have to do is email me. I'll put my email address there for Little Workroom Crafts or private message me on um, Facebook and Instagram. Because let's face it, as I've said, this is our podcast. This isn't just mine. This is our podcast. So anything you've been up to, please send in photographs with a little bit of written information um, about it, just so I can share with everybody, you know, just so they know where, where to go if they want to make it themselves. Okay, then, right. So just quickly, because I've already gone over my half an hour. <laughs> so um, uh, one of my lovely friends said, sent me a picture on Instagram last week and said, look at this, look at this, I've ordered one. Well, you know, when um, <coughs> you see something and you think, oh, I don't need it. I've already got two. Do I really need the new one? <laughs> and then you go on, you think, you know, and then, you think, mm. then you have a look, you know, yeah, you know, can, can you get it, you know, what is the price and so on. And then... You think, oh damn, you know, the place that I normally get some some of the times I want to get my books from, um, I've got it as a really, really good deal, blah, 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 blah. And then I said to Glenn, look at he went, you know what you're gonna do, Vane. He says, Why don't you just do it? I went, okay. <laughs> as if I didn't really, you know, persuaded on that one. And I got this from um the great yeah, great reads and that's where i got my crochet harry potter book from their deals are absolutely brilliant there's postage free for the uk anyway and it's the new harry potter <laughs> knitting book and the good thing with this one is that it is um it's got some fantastic beast stuff in it as well look oh, i love it and it's got a, it's got a niffler it's got a niffler and it's got a pocket and everything i know it's believable so, uh, yeah, I was well chuffed with that. <laughs> Here's the niffler. <laughs> Look, isn't he cute? He's just so cute. So, yeah, anyway, it is a brilliant. But this, oh, my gosh, I said to Glenn, I'm going to have to make this. 
Look at the little socks. Dobby is a free elf. No, Dobby is free. That's what it makes. And look at this. Where is it? Um, his picture. I just love Dobby. Right. <laughs> okay. So I had to get it. Then I messaged my lovely friend and I said, I got one. And it will be here soon. <laughs> she said, I knew you would. <laughs> so it's your fault. I'm blaming you. You know who you are. But look. Oh, my gosh. So, and these. Oh, these. Let me just quickly show you this. The actual picture. These are. The, oh, there's a lovely wrap. There's shawl in this. Oh, where is it? Oh, here it is. Sorry, let's get there. Here it is. Oh, so it arrived over the weekend and I've just quickly had a flick through, really. But look at those mittens. I've got to get me practice up on with me colour work and uh, they will definitely be made. <laughs> they really, really will definitely be made. So, um, yeah, yeah, um, I'm... Uh, I will be getting some stuff made out of that the week at uh, the weekend. Yeah, I wish um, <laughs> next year. So that's my aim because obviously I've got to get the the cross stitch major because that is the last thing I have to do. That is a present. Everything else is fine. It's done. So I've got to get more stitches in that. I really do. So that actually is my naughty um, <clears throat> for this week. It wasn't planned, as I have said. It was one. <laughs> That was, yeah. Huh? <laughs> but, oh, my gosh, I'm so glad I got it. It is amazing. And they are good. I say, go to it's a, a Great Reads. I'm sure it was Great Reads. Yeah, Great Reads. And they're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. The prices, they even though they're all brand new and it's, like, new out. This only came out last it was October, I think. So it's only just come out the end of last month. It should say somewhere. I know I've, I've read it somewhere. I'm sure it was October. And um, the prices are just so unbelievable. That is the same place I got my crochet one from. And the prices are brilliant. Postage free. So, yeah. You know what I mean? And I ordered it. I'm trying to think. When did um, my friend message me? I don't know if that was Thursday. And it came Saturday. It did come Hermes. So, you know what I mean? It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right then, okay, so we've got one more section to go and that is the shop update. So if anybody is, um, you know, not interested in the shop update, I'd like to say thank you ever so much for joining us this week. And um, I'll see you all next Monday. So please take care, stay safe, happy crafting. Bye. Okay then, right, so these went into the shop. Well, these are what's left. I'd like to say thank you to everybody that actually did put on, um, you know, supported us on the shop update on Friday. And these are the bits that are left. But as I say, not everybody has the other, um, you know, platforms. They do rely on here to um, you see what's going on, basically. Right then. So when it comes to the dumpies, <laughs> the dumpy yarn cozies. Now, these I should have brought my other ones up um, <clears throat> are for two 50 gram balls of uh, cakes of uh, yarn. So say if you're like me, do two at a time. Of your socks <clears throat> oh sorry a bit croaky today two cuffs two and so on um these are absolutely fine i actually used a set for rebecca's socks and they were brilliant honestly you know what i mean it was just you had no unraveling of the bag uh, of the outside when they're in the bag and so on but i managed to get hold of this fabric again because i love this fabric and that is the cheap and they are obviously sold as a pair and there's two pairs left in the shop this little cutie there's one left of these so there's one pair and it's got the little elephants on these ones there's two of these left two pairs with little kitties on These ones, there's two pairs of these left as well, which is balloons, hot air balloon. Then we go into the two in one, which you've just seen, which um, with the, the crochets in. So I've got a two in one, only one of these left of the elephant. 
I've got one of these left of this. I did have these in the dumpies, but they both said, but they sold in that colorway. And this, I must admit, I did keep, as you've just seen, I did keep one of these for myself. Because the print is so big, it just called for the, the two in ones. And there's three of these and they've got the cats on. Oh, I just think that is just beautiful fabric. Also, there is one of these left. Because one has gone. And I have decided this year I'm not doing Christmas. There is loads of beautiful makers out there that do lovely Christmas project bags. But I thought, well, what I'll do is I'll do winter. Um, this one is a bit on the dark side uh, in colourway. But it'd be perfect, you know, for... Um, to carry on right through to the spring really and it is masculine as well as feminine so i thought it would what go you know either or either or but this is my large dumpy and that is a little sonirene fabric which has got the thistles and the stag this here on the bottom is a denim a hundred uh, you know cotton denim and then on the back there is a cotton tartan and then inside, as always, is the big double pocket, which you get in the dumpies. These dumpies don't have wadding in them. They have a, this is an extra heavyweight calico. So, it, you know, it still does stand alone. And then you've got <clears throat> to make it into a drawstring. So you've got your dark pulls. So, yes. There is one of these left. So that is what's actually in the shop. Went in the shop. What's left on Friday. So, um, you know, anybody that's um, <laughs> interested in those, if you'd like to pop over to um, my Etsy shop, I will write the, the name on the bottom here for you. And then this week, I've already got cut out a load more, which is yet again winter themed, but they have got a little bit more colour to them. So, uh, you know, so that will carry on into right through to the spring. So January, February, where we do, we do go colder. <laughs> OK, then I better go because my 42 minutes. Gosh, I've already chatted loads. So I am going to love you and leave you all. So thank you ever so much for watching this week. And I still can't remember what I was going to say to you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so I am going to see you all next Monday. So please take care. Stay safe. Happy crafting. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.